can you give yeah. maybe three insights into what would you would consider healthy eating habits for people on a daily basis? Like it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but the main thing is you want food to really energize you and you want food to make you feel good. So sometimes you know, one person can eat a certain diet and it doesn't affect them. They have loads of energy, you know, but if another person eats the exact same kind of food, it can actually really make them tired and deplete their energy and disturb their sleep. So it's really good to like tune into yourself and really experiment, I suppose, with different foods and, you know, really take note of what really makes your body come alive, like what really energizes you. You know, across the board, generally, it's a whole food diet. So if you have um, you know, plenty of fresh fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, things like this, you know, good quality meat, good quality fish, organic, you know, um, grass fed, things like this, things that haven't been processed, that are in as close to their natural form and their natural state as possible. You know, if you do this and you kind of have this the majority of your diet, you will feel energized from just eating this way alone. Um, and then the third thing is also just to re remind yourself that it's not just about food, you know, to look after yourself holistically. Food is one thing, sleep is another thing, stress is another thing, and uh, exercise is another thing. So you kind of have to look at the bigger picture as well. Everything works in combination together, um, you know, and sometimes people can be really, you know, on the food, but yet the exercise falls away. So it's good to maybe just take it a little step back and be like okay what can I do to look after my physical health so when you look at this term physical health and what comes under this you're looking at food you're looking at exercise you're looking at sleep you're looking at stress you're looking at self-care you know this is all physical you know so it's good to maybe just take in all areas as well you know and generally yeah if you just have your diet you know have it balance as well because sometimes when we're too extreme um with things it can knock us over the edge as in we can be really kind of obsessive over something for so long and then this can kind of reach a breaking point and can swing us to the opposite extreme so sometimes if we're being um too careful you know we have the danger of going too extreme to go into the old patterns or the old ways or eating rubbish again or eating foods that are not going to make us feel good so it's just kind of doing it realistically and what can fit into your life so i always say like a good number is like 80 percent to 20 percent you know eat well 80 percent of the time and then you still have you know the luxuries of life which are there to be enjoyed as well you know so if you find this balance you know this is more of a happy balance so um just to kind of keep it realistic for yourself as well and what you can do in your everyday life that will keep you feeling happy, keep you feeling energized, keep you feeling well.